More than ever, Bluetooth is an essential part of your daily life. Whether it's a game controller syncing up to your laptop, brand new wireless headphones that let you live a cord-free life, or just a wireless mouse and keyboard, knowing how Bluetooth works on Windows 10 is essential. Whether you're just looking to turn on Bluetooth or you can't seem to get your connection to work, here's how to fix Bluetooth in Windows 10. Windows 10 makes enabling Bluetooth on your laptop or desktop super easy. In the bottom right corner of your screen, click on the Notifications menu icon, then look for the Quick Actions menu at the bottom of this panel. Click on the Bluetooth tile to enable Bluetooth. It should fill your selected Windows color once you tap it. If you can't enable Bluetooth, make sure any physical Bluetooth switches are enabled. Some laptops have function keys that enable or disable Bluetooth on a hardware level. If you're using a USB Bluetooth adapter, try moving it to a USB port. If you're still having issues, the next step is to begin troubleshooting. Tap on the Windows key on your keyboard and type troubleshoot, then hit enter. From this list, select Bluetooth under find and fix other problems. Run the troubleshooter and follow any suggested steps from Windows. If the Windows troubleshooter doesn't solve your issues, you might want to try updating your Bluetooth drivers. Tap on the Windows key and type device manager, then hit enter. Find Bluetooth in your list of devices, then click on the arrow to view your adapters. Right click on your Bluetooth adapter and select update driver. Have Windows search automatically for an updated Bluetooth driver for your device. If Bluetooth doesn't appear in your device manager as an option, your PC might not have a built-in Bluetooth receiver or may point to a hardware level failure. If Bluetooth is up and running, but you're having trouble with your connection, tap your Windows key, type Bluetooth, and hit enter to open your Bluetooth settings. If you've previously connected your device, select the device under your Bluetooth menu, then click remove device. Once that's done, try to reconnect your Bluetooth device to your laptop or desktop again. If that still doesn't solve the issue, tap on the Windows key and type Services, then hit Enter. Among the list of services presented, look for anything that starts with Bluetooth. Right-click on the first result, then choose Properties. From here, change Startup Type to Automatic from the drop-down menu and restart on any running service, or Start on any stop service. Repeat this for all other Bluetooth services and restart your laptop once you're done. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.